Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm always super excited to share the day with you. And I know that you are TV. Yeah? <laughs> I was expecting a scream there. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I know you're online, but I, I can hear you by faith. <laughs> can hear you by faith. Okay, so, so right now, you know the drill we're gonna have an amazing time spending all our love pouring our love on god and how we do that is by worship by praise so when that comes on don't just sit don't just sit god really loves our praise when we praise him when we sing, when we sing to him whether your voice is nice or not <laughs> he loves it because it's like he's your dad he just wants to hear you just call his name so please do spend time loving him love him so much because he loves you and um when you when we do that we're also gonna have um share the word together so we're gonna you know watch the amazing story and i'll come back and i'll talk you through it and then listen attentively because it's gonna be a quiz and you gotta pass you're gonna know what you you know i know you are you are you are so good at it so i want you to enjoy it and enjoy it don't just see it as a quiz just see it as wow i know this much right rather than oh are they testing me he says i know this much ah and the more you know the more you grow see you soon bye and now let's go into a time of worship God, right now you can raise your hands, you can wave, you can wave it to Jesus. He's the most high, he's the son of God and he sits upon the throne. You know him, his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I want you to wave your hands to Jesus. Come on somebody, like this. Side to side, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The son of God, he is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted Oh, the Son of God is lifted higher. Oh, oh, oh. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son
here's my worship All of my worship Receive my worship Jesus All of my worship One more time, here it is, Lord Here's my worship All of my Friends, so we've got a long memory verse today. Hi, my name is Joy, and today I'll be doing a memory verse. Acts 29, 30 to 31. And God said to Philip, Go to the chariot and stay near. Philip ran up to the chariot and heard a man reading Isaiah the prophet. Philip asked, Do you understand what you're reading? How can I, said the man, if someone does not explain it to me? Then the man invited Philip to come sit with him. Bye. Thank you for watching. And now to the lesson for the day. He was a little baby. Moses the Israelite was adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. He grew up in the great palace of Egypt. When he was all grown up, Moses did something very bad. He killed an Egyptian man. Hey, look! So Moses ran away to live in the desert. He married a lady named Zipporah. One day, when Moses was out with the sheep, he saw a bush in the desert. It was on fire, but it didn't burn up. Moses went to look at this strange sight. God spoke from the fire. Moses, don't come any closer. Take off your sandals. You are on holy ground. Moses was scared. He covered his face. I want you to bring my people out of Egypt. I... I can't do that. But God promised to help Moses lead the people. So Moses returned to Egypt to talk to the Israelites about being free. God is going to set all of you free from Pharaoh. God also sent Moses' brother, Aaron, along to help him. The Israelites fell right down on their knees and thanked God for remembering them. Then it was time for Moses to go see Pharaoh. fire not even hot water like that's not any better but don't get me wrong it's it's i mean comparable to fire and they heated this fire seven times i need some cold water mm. that's 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 not a joke i would have you ever been touched by a very hot object 
I mean, you will have a just a tiny fraction of an idea what these guys or these Hebrew boys went through. <sighs> My goodness. So, so, so what's running through your mind <laughs> apart from fire? Because I can't get over it. That was fire. And the Bible says when we walk through the fire, he'll be with us. So God's word is so true. Because God showed up for them. I mean, imagine being threatened by the Taoiseach of Ireland. And the Prime Minister says, no, you have to do this. When it's against God's will. Would you go ahead? Well, you've just learned there's no need to. There is no one that you ought to fear except God. God made every single person on the earth, whether they know it or not. not. He made every single person. And God says, I'm the only one that you fear. I'm the only one that you bow down to. So there's no one, absolutely no one, that is with absolute power except God. And if he must be God, then he must be worshipped. Only God deserves the worship. And so, because the king was asking for something that was only God's, they couldn't give it. So this is not just rebellion. This is just obedience to God and rebelling against the things that are contrary to God's ways. They did not disobey the king just because they wanted to disobey authority. I mean, they did it because they wanted to obey the one and only, the highest authority. And so today, as you go about your day, understand that there is only one God that deserves worship. There's only one God that deserves our praise. And that God is to be feared and no one else. And so regardless of the threats that you may get, persecution, uh, persecution is you are, you are, you are, you are, you are really, really hated and talked about that for your faith and for doing right. It doesn't matter because you, you know what, <laughs> your God is going to show up for you as he did for the three Hebrew boys. He's going to defend you. He's going to protect you. He's going to keep you. Imagine they change the laws. <laughs> It's like the boys had the last laugh. And so in all of our doing, all we want to see is God glorified. All we want to see is God exalted. And God is only the one that we should worship and we should fear. We we'll always remember that he alone is God. So fear no man for he made all things. Have an amazing, amazing day. Hello boys and girls, it's time for yet another quiz. I hope you're excited. All right, let's go right into number one. Question number one. Why did the king of Egypt put the children of Israel into bondage? A. He hated Jacob and all of his family. B. He was slothful and wanted other people to do his work. C. He wanted to show the children of Israel that his gods were more powerful than the God of Israel. D. He wanted to keep them from multiplying. He feared that they could overtake the Egyptians. The answer would be in Exodus chapter 1 verse 9 to 10. The correct answer was D. Number two, which line of Israel's family bore Moses? A. Joseph B. Levi C. Benjamin or D. Judah You can find the answer in Exodus chapter 2 verse 1. And the answer was B. Levi Number three, who adopted Moses? A. Shifra. B. The daughter of Pharaoh. C. Moses' sister. D. Zipporah. Exodus chapter 2, verse 10 should give you a pretty good clue. The answer was B. The daughter of Pharaoh. Number four, 
Why did Moses kill the Egyptian? A. The Egyptian was escaping Pharaoh's palace with stolen goods. B. The Egyptian wanted to assassinate Pharaoh. C. The Egyptian hated Moses. D. The Egyptian was beating a Hebrew. Check Exodus chapter 2 verse 11 to 12 for a clue. And the answer was D. The Egyptian was beating a Hebrew. Number 5. To where did Moses flee from being punished for killing the Egyptian? A. The home of his Hebrew birth mother. B. The wilderness. C. The land of Midian. D. The land of Canaan. Exodus 2 verse 15 will tell you where. And the answer was C. The land of Midian. And the last question for today's quiz. Who was Moses' wife? A. Shifra. B. Pua. C. Pharaoh's daughter. Or D. Zipporah. Exodus 2 verse 21 should give you a clue. And the answer was D. Zipporah. It's time for your take-home quiz. As always, the first correct answer that gets submitted gets a gift in church. To ask your parents to use the email address of the church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. All right, take-home quiz number one. What did God tell Moses to do before approaching the burning bush? A. Set aside his staff. B. Wash his hands. C. Take off his shoes. D. Cover the crown of his head. Exodus 3 verse 5 should help you. Number 2. What was Moses' concern about his ability to lead the children of Israel? A. He was crippled. B. He was wicked. C. He was too young for such a great task. D. He was slow of speech. Exodus 4 verse 10 will tell you. Number 3. Who was to be Moses' spokesperson? A. Jethro. B. Zipporah. C. His brother Aaron. D. His Hebrew mother. Exodus 4 verse 14 to 16 will give you some help. Number 4. What did Aaron turn his rod into? A. A serpent. B. A sword. C. A hoe. D. A whip. Exodus 7 verse 10 should help. Number 5. Each of these creatures played Egypt except... Except... A. Flies. B. Lice. C. Frogs. D. Serpents. E. Locusts. You'll find this in Exodus chapter 8. And the last question for your take-home quiz is number six which of these plagues did the lord not inflict on the egyptians a raining down of hail and fire b three days of darkness c the transformation of water into blood d all cattle died e food turning into stones Exodus chapter 7 will inform you. Don't forget, first question, correct, correct answers in, gets a prize in church. Have a lovely, 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 lovely time in church. The correct answers, put them in an email, send them to the church email, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. <laughs>
be having lots of lovely stuff. We're going to have... my covenant with you. Like build an ark for like Adam God. God. He's all knowing. That means he knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything. He knows tomorrow. An ark. Like I'm so silly. You like you're, you're so silly now. Like you're. So guess what? You know you just need all of this.